हेलो एंड अस्सलाम वालेकुम सो आई वाज जस्ट गोइंग टू एक्चुअली अपलोड द वीडियो देन आई थॉट दैट आई वाज गोइंग टू मेक अ अ कप केक इन अ बाउल इट्स अ स्मॉल वन इट्स लाइक अ मग एक्चुअली बिग मग बग इट्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ डिश सो आई वाज जस्ट गोइंग टू मेक एंड ट्राई टू मेक होम मफिन और cake you can say a very small one as you can see from my hand it's uh, like 4 inch or actually less than that it's uh, 3 or 4 inch uh, diameter so this one i'm going to make it in in the microwave so i put it there so this is a chocolate one and let's see if uh, i'm able to make it i've not followed any recipe i don't have any idea what configuration or what consistency to use what i used was the plain flour some a little bit of oil a little bit of whole milk and then the baking powder what else what else what else and of course the sugar and a pinch of salt so these were the main ingredients and of course for the chocolate i i had this cadbury bon vila cocoa so i used this one these are the toppings which i'm thinking that once the cake is ready i gonna put on top of that because i am sure it will look nice and it will be tasty because it will make it crunchy if my cake is successful so i did not make the video earlier as you can see i, I can already see the cake is actually popping out so i hope it not going to blow up and it's actually getting cooked so i put the timer if i'm not wrong for 2 minutes i can smell it so it's getting somewhere I hope it doesn't pop out or something so we have to wait a little bit more. So that was just a quick video what I made after the lamp video I thought maybe I should add an other one because I was going to try to make the cake although we had some uh cake from the market as well from I think so this is from Lidl this is from Aldi so muffins but just wanted to make something fresh oven fresh cake so trying a little bit of my luck and my knowledge because hopefully the consistency matters in usually the cake and muffins but it doesn't uh matter if you want to try out a little bit so there is no egg in it and i'm being tempted to open it up but i'm avoiding that because if i open it up the warmth which it needs to rise and properly make it might go away so i'll stop myself from opening yet I'll wait for it. It seems like uh, it was popping quite a lot and now it has gone down. Uh, I don't know if it is a good thing or a bad thing. We'll find out as the timer finishes. I was thinking that I should uh, pause the video but it's few seconds left. So we can count it together. 6 5 4 3 2 1 1 2 Okay. Mm uh, looks okay as long it's it's fully cooked it looks spongy i'm not sure if i keep it or ke uh, bring it out okay so i just remember that uh, maybe we can do the toothpick test which everyone recommends so this is clean this is clean and one more spot this is clean so hopefully it is cooked let's see let's bring it out it's a bit hot let me turn on the light it looks nice honestly I I am a bit surprised because after long time I'm making it so you can see that it's quite flat it's quite you see it's quite spongy and if I'm doing it again the toothpick is clean so I'm an expert cook now so I can make bakery but okay the main important thing is the taste when I was making the batter I tasted the batter uh, with finger so it was okay so i hope the the sugar and every content is okay so let me try it and then we'll i will give you be able to give you a better comment okay okay so i just remember that uh, we need to make it a bit nice okay uh why it's a bit dark it's gone a bit dark. okay so i'm going to put uh you want to put it okay so so this is ye yeah, mental okay my wife is saying that to put some cream on it okay it usually melts but let's see if it stays there ooh 
I did it too much this one and then a little bit to make it more colorful and so here it is it looks very good but the taste uh, you have to tell me if you can taste it so that was the cake let me try and give you the final view before I wrap the video up so this was our okay I am now breaking the cake and if you can see it is spongy from inside so it looks good so far it's moist from inside which I like I don't like the full dry one so let me taste it Mm. Mm. so it is good honestly maybe if there would be a little bit more sugar it won't harm but mm, I'm trying to show you the spongy stuff but unfortunately the camera is not a okay so you can see due to the warm cake the the cream has started to melt but you can see from inside the cake consistency and the sponginess is there so i'll try to get a bigger bite to show you the sponge okay i think so we okay so i i'm trying to show you the sponginess i'm not sure if you can clearly see but uh, yeah now it's better so this you can see the inside sponge it's perfectly baked and it's spongy and can you touch it touch the cake yeah you see so it's a perfect soft muffin uh, which we have made and with the sprinkle and uh, the fresh cream which we used it's uh, it's million dollar because I cooked it so after the first um, cake success uh, I'm going to make another one in this mug this is nice Christmas mug with a penguin in it so I just added uh, a little bit of uh, flour and so i need a spoon let me get a spoon okay because of course without spoon we can't make anything so because it's a small uh, thing i'm not making a big one so i'm not using any uh, anything to filter it out so i'm directly pouring it so a little bit of corn flour okay i've added and what i am going to add in this is after I've added a little bit of, uh, not little bit, uh, uh, some amount of plain flour, I will gotta add this uh, baking powder. How much? I don't know. I'm not an expert. I'm doing what uh, my mind is saying. So if it's crazy, I can't say anything. So I'm just adding, uh, I think so that's good enough. Okay. What next we want? Okay. If you want chocolate, so add some, some, some kind of a uh, cocoa powder so i'm using this uh, Cadbury one which i have already at home so i'm gonna add again it's a bit um so it's up to you how much you want to add i'm not an expert as i said so i have added a little bit of that the next thing we need to add is a little bit of pinch of salt so where is the salt okay so I have got a salt and how much I gonna add is if you can see it's not that much that it is there but it doesn't taste and the last and the most important thing not the last but the like uh, solid things would be the sugar okay it's an important component if you have uh, grind sugar that's the best but the one I have it's a uh, granule sugar as you can see here but it is fine granules it's not like big lumps or something so I uh, it should be okay so we need to make sure it's proper sugar is there if it's not uh, you won't be able to eat it basically the bottom line so before I add any other thing I'm just going to mix it well okay so and if I see any lumps I'm just trying to press them so that there are no more lumps left so I think so it's well uh, mixed for now okay now what I need to add is basically a little bit of oil okay so I have got the oil bottle and I gotta add some oil oil is there and the last and the 
hopefully the last thing if i've not forgotten anything is the whole milk so i'm adding the whole milk because that will create the actual mixture okay i think i should add a little bit more flour but let's see okay so now mixing it up as you can see and so i can see a little bit of lumps so i need to make sure that there are no lumps otherwise whatever the lump is it won't taste good so again i'm trying to mash it up and it's feel like you know some some people make the coffee uh like this and it looks like coffee I, it's uh, to me it seems a bit thick so i am going to dilute with a little bit of milk and the color has gone quite less so i think so we can add a little bit more cocoa powder okay so that should be good enough it's up to you how much you want to add but it's not getting the chocolatey color which i want to give it so oh, come on because it's near the end so Ooh, I have added a lot now. I'm sure it should get proper color for sure now. Okay, so I need to, I can see some big lumps now of the cocoa powder which I've added. Okay and the main thing is to taste with your finger you can do that if you are making for your own family not if you are making for someone else because i'm using the same finger maybe a little one more spoon of sugar would be good because i feel it's there is less sugar as i said if the sugar is less uh, you won't be able to actually eat the cake so i'm gonna mix it again so that the sugar uh as it's a bit granular so it gets mixed and also it's not in only one part it's everywhere in the muffin okay so i think so everything is done for the mug cake let me clean the spoon okay and then we are ready okay Okay, so I'm not sure how much were you able to see so it's not that much in this mug as you can see the mug is big but the, the, the liquid is still here till the almost the color of the penguin so it's less than the half the quarter of the mug so let's hope uh, I'm able to make it again in a proper way I can see some lumps now or it's okay let's try it it's the cocoa lumps which i see so i put it the, uh, put the mug in the oven and again i will try to put it for it's two and a half minute in the microwave and in a normal microwave mode there is nothing selected as you can see just the normal microwave mode so let's see how it goes and if it is able to cook it and we'll know in a while so as i used in uh, the other video i have got these uh, sprinkles okay this one and the chocolate one personally i like these ones these are nice but uh, they are not my favorite and maybe we're gonna use this again uh, cream okay which we can apply on top as well so these would be the three top uh, ingredients on the top of the cake if it is a success as well so as compared to the previous cake from last video which i made in which actually i did not show you the ingredients so i can see the cake uh, coming out i can see it popping out as you might be able to see as well so something is coming out of the mug so that is my cake 
and but it should go down that's what i found out if you're making a cake or something in a mug or in a small bowl usually it pops out and then go back but the important thing would be if it becomes properly spongy or not so we'll make a wait for half minute or one minute i don't know i will think that if i need to give it the full time or i'll stop after 30 seconds okay so 15 seconds are left and i'm gonna stop it now oops sorry i made it 30 seconds more let's hope it's cooked and as last time so it looks the sponge i can see the sponge so again the toothpick test the famous okay the toothpick has came out clean clean and one more spot clean okay so it's a small mug so i should have put more stuff in it to make it up to the full strength because i put it here the liquid was here and the muffin has came almost the half of the mug so next time maybe i'll if i make it half then it can reach the top of the mug so this uh is for my son i'm gonna make it and for my son so i'm gonna put the rest of the things on it uh the cream and the sprinkles okay let me open that and then make the video okay so the first thing is cream so to put the cream you need to shake it first that's how they say it. and the cake is warm so the cream will start melting very soon and then the brown sprinkles and and the multicolor sprinkles and that's the thing so here it is our mug cake as you can see and hope i'm sure this will be same tasty as my earlier one so hope you like the video if you like do subscribe and share and uh, if you have any comments please do share as well thanks for watching take care allah hafiz bye bye see you